Today, the remaining pieces of the Berlin Wall are primarily a tourist attraction. But 30 years ago, a young couple risked everything to escape from East Germany to West Berlin. Winfried is a young engineer known as a risk taker. He has the idea to flee with a self-built gas balloon. March 1989. After months of preparation, Winfried and his wife Sabine are ready. In a garden colony in East Berlin, in the middle of the night, the two start to fill the balloon with gas. But someone spots them and alerts the police. The policemen see the balloon, which is already leaning towards the west, and is also ready to fly. They do not see any people, but they suspect what is going on. They have firearms with them, but they do not dare to use them, because it smells strongly of gas, as they said later, and they were afraid that the whole house would explode. Winfried and Sabine, with a balloon that is not completely full, only have seconds to decide, writes Caroline Labusch in her book about the escape. They have 30 seconds to decide what they want to do. And they decide that he flies and that she stays behind. She hid in the bushes and saw him fly away. With such a sudden departure, Winfried is at the mercy of the winds. He has no control over the balloon and flies for five hours, sitting on a cut-off broomstick attached to the balloon. He ascends up 5,000 meters, where it is freezing cold, minus 20 degrees. His flight ends in the west part of the city, in Berlin, Zehlendorf. He was chilled to the bone and he must have been exhausted, psychologically as well as physically. We tried to calculate how this flight really could have gone and came to the conclusion that he probably just fell down. His strength left him and he couldn't hold on anymore. And in the afternoon his body was found in one of the gardens bordering the lake. Winfried was the last person to die, trying to escape to the West. If everything had worked out, if everything had gone according to plan, what had Winfried hoped for? Well, I think Winfried was hoping that he could sell the story to the press as a romantic balloon escape of a loving couple. The tragic story makes headlines in the West. In East Berlin, Winfried's wife Sabine is in jail being interrogated by the Stasi, the secret police of the GDR. After several weeks, they let her go. Just a few months later, on the evening of November the 9th, a miracle happens, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Thousands of East Germans gather at the Bornholmer Straße border crossing and go over the bridge. Sabine is in shock and manages to finally cross this now historic bridge only weeks later. Did you also think of Winfried in that moment? Yes, I was thinking about him the whole time. That was what kept me from going over there. Because he was just dead since March. Now it was only November. And he was dead because the wall was closed. And I think he would still be alive if we had waited a few months. And that was so, so sad. So terribly incomprehensible for me. What if he were here and he could see that? And now he can't see it anymore. And grief, only grief. <laughs>